for these comics. Come on, big money. Come on, big money. What's this? Jai Lee? Zen number zero? That looks like Jai Lee's signature. Look at that. Oh, wow. No COA. Wow, good fire. First Jai Lee cover. Sign my Jai Lee. What's up, comic book addicts? Welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that preview because Zen into the Galactic Ninja is a little bit underrated considering, you know, this is probably signed by Jay Lee. It kind of looks like there's that J and the L kind of resembles his signature. His exclusive art is kind of like a dreamy, kind of like mystical type of um, artistry. And too bad there's no COA, but that's the uh, Intergalactic Zen Intergalactic Ninja number zero signed by Jai Lee. Continuing on, by the way, I paid um, I think about 50 cents for that. So for all these comics, Earth 2. Come on, big money. Oh, J. Scott Campbell. Oh, Pit Half. Never seen that before. Oh, first parents of Supergirl. Godzilla, Usagi, Rihumba. Here's a Godzilla one that you don't see too often for $3.99. The IDW era. The complete history of Godzilla comics with IDW publishing. Never seen this cover before. And I heard Usagi Yohimbo might be next up on the Netflix animation series. So it features the Sakai. Now this isn't a key issue, but it features Sakai art. Usagi Yohimbo earlier. Dark Horse uh, number 27. So who knows? Anything similar to how Invincible is doing, this should strike gold. Check this out. Superman number... This is not no numbers. It's basically the 10 cents of adventure. I know we we'll probably ignore this, but this is the axe of significance to it. Because it features the first appearance of the Supergirl Sir Al. Now, I've never seen this before. I mean, we all know pit number one, right? And the last issue is hard to find, but this is Pit number half by Full Bleed. At first, I thought it would be one of those uh, uh, Wizard Comics giveaway, but this isn't. So this one is definitely ultra hard to find. I've never seen this cover before. Definitely haven't seen it in the store. It's an encore presentation. And speaking of art, by the way, Dale Keon, definitely a top 20 artist in my favorite list. Speaking of artists, check out this uh, Wizard Cliffhanger giveaway, number zero. You got J. Scott Campbell art, Medora art, and uh, Humberto Ramos. Definitely all top artists right there. Here's a Punisher you don't see too often. I think this is from volume two, Punisher number one, featuring um, special fall cover. All right. What is this? Holy War. So is that Ron? Is that Ronald Reagan? It is Ronald Reagan. Weird comic. You don't see these weird Ash Can comics too often, considering this is kind of controversial one. Moral Comics Group Holy War, and that's Ronald Reagan there. I removed the sticker price. It was a little bit pain in the ass to remove, because these older ones tend to, um, you know. This is harder quality paper to work with. And here's Captain Marvel, number two. Got it for 50 cents. Um, that is, features the first appearance of Sam. Yeah, basically everything in here is uh, basically like 50 cents or something like that. And, kabam.
Marvel Young Guns number four. Like I say, if you can't afford Young Avengers number one, it's time to look into previews because this is the first preview of Young Avengers. And I got that for five dollars. All right, so supposedly Marvel Young Guns 04 sketchbook is supposed to have the f first preview appearance of the Young Avengers. Oh, there it is by Jim Chung. Fantastic art. There are the Young Avengers. Wow. It's beautiful. Some preview panels. Wow. If you can't afford the Young Avengers number one, this is way out of reach. Got this as a backup. Continue on. And I think these are from Half Price Books. This was a giveaway. I convinced them to give this to me for free. It's Dungeons and Dragons IDW number zero con exclusive. This is official Wizards of the Coast licensed product booth 1114 PAX 2010. So like 11 years ago. And Dungeons and Dragons, I heard they're coming out with a new uh, movie or something like that. Here's one you didn't see too often. Big Trouble Little China Meeks Escape from New York. So we have a... Uh, Team up right there, featuring these uh, epic uh, characters, and it's a Loot Crate exclusive. Now, oh, by the way, these are um, from the clearance section. I think it was 25 cents to straight. For some reason, my six cents say buy this. It's only 25 cents, but I have a feeling this will be made into a uh, movie or exclusive. So sometimes you have to trust your spider sense. I just bought this because this it's a cool cover. Zola Preview Edition Zero Comics. Kind of a little gimmick going on right there. I like the green color. Kind of like Airmo City. Right? Another 25 sensor. Star Wars number 108. The Variant Edition. Celebrating 80 years. You have a whole bunch of characters in the front. You got Chewie, Han Solo. I don't know who that one looks like. And that rabbit. I don't know his name, but... I'm pretty sure it's not a first appearance, but it seems like a cool character to have, right? I don't know why I grabbed this. Dinosaurs and illustrated guy. I think I was I was I guess I was uh aiming for some Jurassic Park goodness. <laughs> the Last God. Check it out. This is um a DC black label, 25 sensor again. The black the last god book of the Philip Spire Chronicles. Ghost Rider 2099. I just like it for the art. Cool cover. Very edition too, by the way. All right. Undone by Blood. Now this is a um, future movie that's going to be upcoming movie that's going to be dropping, featuring Norman Reedus. He's going to produce it and possibly star in it as a TV series. Conan 2099, featuring the first appearance of Conan 2099. And this isn't a very edition, but looks like he's using like a saber, kind of like a fire saber. Not like the Jedi saber ones, but he looks like he's really jacked up, you know, uh, with some uh, weaponry all throughout. He's wearing a cape too. Batman, Superman. This must be the very edition. This is... If you look on the upper left, who's that guy? Yes, this features the first cameo of Shazam who laughs. And I guess uh, it's also it has a story running with Batman who laughs. Now here is number two. That was the cameo. And that's the first appearance of Superman who laughs. In addition with the first full appearance of Shazam who laughs. I think DC is getting a little bit too carry away. We all know that um, Batman Who Laughs, you know, was successful, but if they overdo it, it can become disaster. Batman number 638. Obviously, you can tell that's a 25 sensor because I had a little problem removing it. See, a little bit of the um, paint came off or the ink. I tried my best. Sometimes if his sticker is on there for too long or the quality of paper, it's hard to remove. But anyway, this features the uh, Red Hood is revealed to be Jason Todd. Yeah, definitely needs to be in uh, Batman collector's list. We have Batman 657. You see the like, red Robin fighting the little kid. As this, 
happens to be the second full and first cover appearance of Damian Wayne, the little dude with the sword. Oh, those for 70, uh, 25 cents? This one is uh, half off cover because it's from Half Price Books. All right, so this is Venom number two. Um, it's just a sought after issue. There's no key significance to it, but it's an early Venom issue from 2018 volume. And here's number three. I think this one, um, I think I bought it because it was 25 cents. I specifically remember that. Fabulous artwork, by the way, from Sandoval. Big shout out to him. And here is a power pack. See the 25 cents? Um, I just bought it because it's featuring guest appearances from Punisher and Dakota North. That was truly astounding. Can't believe it. I know this is an original, but that's as best as it gets for 25 cents. Can you believe it? Marvel Tales number 106. This is the reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 129 from 1974, which features obviously the first appearance of the Punisher. It's not in the greatest condition, but for 25 cents, are you kidding me? And as a newsstand, I cannot complain. If they had 10 copies of this, I would buy it all 10 for 25 cents each. Alright. Superman number 10 from the Rebirth volume. This one features the first meeting of John Kent, um, Superboy, and Damian Wayne as the Robin. Here we have a Batman number 38, the origin of Bruce Wayne. Not only that, it features the first appearance and origin of Matthew Warner, who is a psycho that just uh, loves killing people, I think. Woo, gotta admit, Deadpool goodness. Can't wait for Deadpool 3, the movie. I want to see more of the Juggernaut. All right, so this is the uh, first uh, Deadpool Lemonade series. You cannot go wrong with that, but it also features the first appearance of Dr. Killabrew. Here is Deadpool number 36 from the volume one, the Maxi series. This is a scarce and hard to find issue. I guess Deadpool is uh, made into an ape. I don't know what the story behind it. Fathom number seven, a limited edition Michael Turner's Fathom. I believe, now I can tell right off the bat, that's not Michael Turner art. He's definitely the second favorite of all time as an artist, kind of artist. My favorite being Tom McFarlane, obviously. So this is a variant cover by Sia Um. Hope I didn't butcher that name, O-U-M. This is a variant edition. 1 in 12 ratio. Speaking of variant edition, here's beauty number 1. We know the regular cover and that one is beautiful, but this one is a variant cover by Kevin Wada. I found a half this in my collection even though I'm like how many years late? Uh, two, 2 years late? 2-3 years late? <laughs> Whenever Avengers Endgame, you know, with Rescue came out. Um, so this is Iron Man 10 featuring the first cameo of Pepper Potts as Rescue. Check out this Rick and Morty sign. Oh, no. Ruffus. Pat Ruffus. Got some Deadpool right here. Man, 
I am anxiously waiting for, what is it, season 5 now of, uh, or is it 6, of Rick and Morty? Wow. Obviously, Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons got me intrigued. But as I looked further on, it's signed, guys. Can you believe it? So, ha so half of uh, $5, 250 for this, signed by Pat's. Patrick Rufus, who is the writer. It's always a writer, artist, publisher, inker, something like that. Inker publisher. Quote me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. All right. So that's definitely a beauty right there. My first signed Rick and Morty comic for a spectacular price. And speaking of spectacular price, who we? I'm glad they didn't know what they were doing because this is only two dollar for this. The Mighty Thor, number 411. First of all, nothing can stop the Juggernaut, my, one of my favorite villains. Second of all, is a new stamp, but third most importantly of all, this features the first team cameo of the New Warriors. Also the first cameo of Night Thrasher. We have some Shuri goodness right there. It's trending up because it's the first solo series title featuring Shuri. I'm sure she's going to have more... Um, Screen time in uh, Black Panther 2, if they can just figure out what they're going to do, they're going to use a, a different uh, male or use Shuri or female as the next Black Panther, but who knows? I'm sure it's all confidential material. I just bought this because... Um... Oh, by the way, these were $1 from a different comic book store. So this is Clive Barker Presents Hellraiser 3. I'm big on collecting these video game inspired and um, sport inspired and horror inspired. Comics, so Clive Barker is definitely having a bigger uh, medium in the upcoming uh, movies and TV shows. So be on lookout for Hellraiser. First time seeing Fraggle Rock. I think this was popular back in the 80s. Uh, so this is Jim Henson's Muppet Presents Fraggle Rock, featuring the first appearance of the Fraggles in comic books. So I paid a dollar for that, but I also decided to grab number two. Also a dollar, and also number three right there, see? Basketful of Heads. It's part of DC Black Label Joe Hill series. It's um, a possible Netflix show in the works. Yeah. Now Critters, number 50 for a dollar. This happens to be the very last issue of Critters. Sometimes, you know, I know we all want to buy number ones, but the last issues tend to be low in print and harder to find because people just don't, don't care about it. So this is a perfect instance right there. Always be on the lookout for that. And also download Key Collector Comics so you can tell, so you can know in advance what comics you want to pick out when you are searching through the long boxes and short boxes. Lastly, we have ta -da, Wizard number one. Way back in September 1991, when this first came out, I remember seeing this in a comic book store. I was like, what is this? You know? Back then, I guess like a little bit before when Maxim was popular, so we have Wizard. Uh, I think Game Pro was, was ready to establish. So, this Wizard comic basically um, talks about comics related. And um, comic related things, in a, and also as a price guide, uh, it's just basically a medium to share with the combo industry and the fans on what will be upcoming. So we have Spider Man, also is a McFarlane art right there for a dollar. Why not? Sometimes, you know, these have like free comics in there. So let me open it up carefully and show you guys basically what um, wizard is I wasn't good to explain that okay so you got questions and answers talks about comic watch 
little prize guy going on. Um, see? Oh, snap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that folded. Yeah, catalogs. That's pretty much it. Well, gotta find a way to unfold that. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Until next time, take care of yourselves and good luck. Happy hunting.